Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about widely used factory design pattern that to for the driver management, which is the need in the automation testing. Okay. So first of all, as we are going to deal on the object creation, so it falls under creational design pattern. Okay. So let us first under try to understand what exactly is the design factory design pattern. So for example, we have multiple classes as like Chrome driver, Firefox driver and as driver, right? So we want to initialize the object of these or we want to initialize the driver for Chrome driver either or Firefox or Edge depending on browser parameter, we, whether we are reading it from the properties file or we are passing it from the Java code. Okay. So, uh, like based on that particular parameter, we are going to initialize the driver, right? So, uh, let me jump to the diagram and uh, let me show you how we can utilize factory design pattern for the driver management or for initializing the driver based on the parameter. So, first of all, I have initialized one browser manager interface, which is having get driver as an abstract method. Abstract method is nothing but there is no implementation so interface in interface we don't have the uh, like non abstract method or we don't have the implementation if i talk about java version prior to 1.8 right after java dot java 1.8 also this type of interface still exists apart from uh, this functional interface okay so i'm talking about plain interface wherein i have browser manager and get driver as a abstract method right so chrome driver Chrome manager, I mean, uh, Firefox manager and Edge manager. What they are doing? They are doing the implementation of this browser manager, meaning they are implementing this browser manager interface. And then after they are implementing this get driver method, right? Which is the functionality in Java to implement the interface. Okay. Now, when we exactly work in the code, so for example, we have a main class, then what we are doing, we are introducing one middleman, right? which will decide which kind of driver we want to initialize. So for example, from main class, we will pass the browser and it will talk to this driver manager. It internally uh, has some logic to get the driver of either Chrome driver, Firefox driver or Edge driver, right? So this is about the theoretical discussion. Let me jump onto the code side now. Okay. so. Uh, I have a code, code already written uh, like to in order to complete the video or cover the video within the minimal duration. So I have this main class. First of all, what I have done, I have created one browser manager interface as like I displayed or demonstrated in the um, diagram, wherein what I'm doing, I am initializing one driver. Uh, I have uh, like uh, one abstract method. If you look at it at this, there is no implementation for this particular method. It is like web driver, get driver. Web driver is, is its return type and get driver is method name. Okay. So now Chrome manager is implementing this. When Chrome manager will implement it, uh, implement the browser manager, it will have to override uh, override the method of browser manager, right? Wherein what I'm doing as like we normally do web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup to download the Chrome dependency. And then we are returning the Chrome return new Chrome driver. This way we are turning the web driver. Okay. Similarly, if I come to Firefox, it is again implementing Firefox manager, uh, browser manager, right? And we are again implementing get driver. Likewise, tomorrow, for example, we have multiple cases, right? We have multiple, for example, I want to add Safari, I want to add Edge. Likewise, I can add, and this way we are achieving the low, uh, like loosely, uh, loose coupling, right? Now, moving on to driver manager, right? So in driver manager, what I'm doing, I have created one method get browser manager right in this case what i'm doing i'm passing one parameter spring browser okay wherein i have written the switch case okay wherein what i'm doing if case is chrome meaning if i'm passing browser as a chrome right i'm what i'm doing i am returning the new chrome drive chrome manager right so when i will return new chrome manager i will get the instance of this right got it i'm getting the instance of new chrome manager right and when i'm passing firefox i'm getting the instance of firefox manager right and if none of the case matches then we will throw no matching browser right now comes the triggering point or the actual code where exactly we will call this main right uh, we will call this uh, get browser manager right 
so if i for example go here drive manager here i have written this get browser manager right so if you look at it get browser manager by default i have hard coded this browser as a pro right so driver manager dot get browser manager and i am passing the browser this way what will happen the control will go here and it will call this particular method this way it is returning the chrome manager right when it is returning the chrome manager what we are doing then after uh, once the chrome manager is returned uh, now i am calling the get driver method right so by default it is going to browser manager right uh, right because i went to the uh, method but now uh, if i for example right click on this and if i click on go to implementation right previously i went to declaration which is declared in the interface but now i am going to implementation so it will say whether you want to go to chrome driver chrome manager or firefox manager which is going to decide based on this chrome or firefox right so in this case as this is chrome it would be decided at runtime and it, the control will go to chrome manager right once the control go to uh, chrome manager then uh, this get driver method of chrome manager here we are setting up the chrome driver and we are returning the chrome driver instance right uh, so if uh, needed we can download we can add the chrome options and all to add the capability i'm not considering that as of now so what i'm going to do so for example this is chrome i'm now going to run this particular case so what will happen it will launch the chrome browser and then it will enter source demo.com okay if you notice it has launched the chrome browser and it is able to uh, launch this source demo.com now i am closing this and i am changing this firefox okay so what will happen now it will uh, now launch firefox browser and enter the source demo.com url and that particular site will open okay so let us see firefox got launched and source demo.com got opened right so this is how we can implement uh, the driver uh, factory design pattern i mean uh, for uh, browser management so uh, in case you want to learn this i would uh, recommend to like implement it uh, on the in, in your code i mean only then you will get the understanding by going through the video you won't get much understanding you will have to implement it so uh, thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe so that we reach to the maximum people and we can help each other. Thank you.